<clears throat> Alright, we're back for some more Kubera. It's a little bit late in the night for me. It is uh, quarter past ten, but um, we're still going to record. Probably not going to be as long as uh, last week's video. I hope you enjoyed the nearly hour long um, <clears throat> read through from last week. Um, I most certainly did. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, um, before we get into this one, hit the sub button if you're new. If not, you know, notification bell and stuff. All the, the other wonderful YouTube things to get me through the algorithm because we're really close to 500. So if we could hit that before the end of the year, that would be absolutely wunderbar. Yeah. Anyway, let's get into this, shall we? Attention, everyone. As a result of the tally of votes, the final verdict is that the execution will be carried out with Hoti Yama. <clears throat> well, bit of a jump. That you think? I don't fucking hell. Okay. The first phase should be carried out momentarily at the time of Earth. And tomorrow morning, 12 hours from now, we will hear her final statement at the time of creation. If there is anything to reconsider in her final statement, we may remove Hotoyama and reset the, the date for phase two of the execution. Otherwise, she'll, she will spend 12 more hours like that before her body is collected. Jeez, Hodoyama. Oh my god, Lise. I have to find Lise. Episode... <clears throat> Part 2, episode 133, Falling Petals 7. Oh, so, this is how it's gonna end. I'm so confused. I thought she was a talented and upright person. I can't believe she got her ability from stepping all over other people. The rain didn't come. I guess, no matter how terrible Ash's crimes are, she's still her prize student. She didn't look very happy before in the conference hall, either. I just hope this doesn't get between her and Saha. Lorraine's not here? Hmm. I guess I should have expected it. Ah, uh, Roosh, did you vote? After looking over the report of the meeting? My goodness, it's shocking for me, but it must have been even more shocking for you. Shocking. It might have been, but I'm okay now. When I first found out before the meeting, it really felt like a smack to the back of my head. But I've got it much better. Wait. You knew before the meeting? Of course. My sister is the one who told uh, who told Saha about this. I also received the document that went to Saha. My sister said to make sure I tell people that Asha did it, did it if she dies a mysterious death after informing Saha of this. Funny. Right. <laughs> it's even funnier because it's not a joke. <laughs> Roosh? You know, I just don't understand how after using Hody Vishnu over a thousand times to kill and revive halves, Asha wouldn't have used Hody Vishnu even once for someone who really needed it. How can someone be like that? Uh. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, there's, I, uh, you know, I don't think there's any, um, uh, any coming back from this, but okay. Anyway, since the three unsolved cases were declared murders, I voted in favor of execution. It's a pretty objective reason, right? I voted according to the law. Ah, right, speeding of Hody Vishnu. Isn't that a bit strange? The fact that Asha didn't use Hori Vishnu for anyone else must have ultimately been the, to hide the fact that she had used it. But why would she say have saved the Priestess of Chaos? Very good question indeed, isn't it? Very good question. She ended up like this because she let people know that she could use Hori Vishnu at that time. Surely it's not like she couldn't have foreseen the situation. Well... That must be because she figured that, this, that saving the Priestess of Chaos would be more beneficial to herself, right? Claude, what did you get here? I've been here since the meeting, since the main meeting. The back of your hair sure is pretty, sis. I like your bun. Never about the back of my head. How could you just stare at me without saying hi? <laughs> but seriously, worrying about why Asha brought Teo back to life won't do any good. If Asha could have used that in her own defense, she or Mirha would have said something about it. 
but judging from the fact that neither of them mentioned it, it must mean it wouldn't excuse her for what she did, right? Or, it could also mean that revealing the reason for saving Tio could actually work against Asha. Oh look. Oh look, would you look at that. Later, where's Lise? Oh, Saha just came and took her away a minute ago. Shoot. Were the results of the meeting not good? Yeah, Ash's past was beyond what I had expected. I never guessed that she had practiced magic on halves. I thought that I could barely get her a favorable sentence even with the 29 accidental manslaughter and three unsolved cases, but that came up. I wanted to reduce her sentence to imprisonment, but it was all for naught. With things having turned out like this, I'm gonna have to appeal to her usefulness rather than sympathy for, from the people. I'm not sure if Saha will listen. I don't think Saha will. I don't think Saha will at all. I think Saha wants Asha gone. For what purpose? I don't know. But I think Saha just doesn't want Asha or someone like Asha around, whether it's purely from a objective standpoint of someone like that shouldn't be around or other purposes. Who knows? I don't know. We know not, like next to nothing about Saha, so all I can do is speculate. Ugh. I couldn't find her anywhere. Ron? Hmm? Ah. Lise. Sorry for be not being able to find her right away when you asked me to a while ago. Sorry. I should be thanking you, Saha. Lise. Are you okay? You didn't hear anything bad, did you? Hmm? By something bad, do you mean Asha getting executed? With Hodiyama? Uh, uh, yeah. I didn't know, but apparently 12 hours after having Hodiyama cast on you, you look the way you would if you lived out your entire natural life spell. <sighs> this is the first time Lazer's finding out what that spell does. Um, that's gonna have some serious like. Oh, oh God, oh no, Lisa, are you okay? That's why they say the execution is split into three stages, where they use Hodi Yama to threaten and intimidate the person. If you don't answer honestly, they remove the spell right away and kill you. Ah, uh, jeez, where did you hear all that? I told her. It's not widely known among regular people. This child isn't exactly a regular person, so I thought she had the right to know. Ah, you're worried I'd be shocked since I have a short lifespan myself. Ah, that's sweet of you. Please. But it's okay. I never thought of living a long life anyway. By the way, I'm worried about Asha. She may have her mouth shut tight right now, but she'll definitely say something, right? With all the evidence they have, it's not like she can get rid of the fact about her murders, and it really is Asha's own fault, but still, there must be some kind of reason for her to avoid the death penalty. She's already saved me several times and kept me with her all this time. I don't think she can, she can be an entirely bad person. There will definitely be something. I'm sure of it. You, Liz, or Kubera. Could be a crucial thing, could, could potentially sway people because you are a Kubera that she protected and kept alive. Just saying. <sighs> Make sure to stay hydrated, folks. Good for you. Water is good. Also, good boy, Ron. Good old Ron. You know, a good. I don't even know what, like. Bigger Ron is for Lee's friend. Older brother. Older brother sounds about right. The following day, at the time of creation. First I will tell you about the method that was carried out 12 hours ago at the time of Earth. After sur surrounding the executioner and the officer with a circle of flowers, Hoodyam is cast with these flowers, including... included within the range of the spell. Since Hodiyama is a spell which applies to everything within a certain radius, including the caster, 
Once all of the flowers have wilted, 12 hours later, it means that the spell has definitely been applied to the offender. Hey, Zaha, why don't you let me- why don't you let me do the execution? Be quiet. The flowers are used for confirmation, since they are pe- since there are people whose appearances hardly change if they only have a very short lifespan left to live. Lee's changed a lot. Lee, Lee's, uh, Lee's changed quite a bit, even though she's only living to, like, her mid-twenties. Now, we will hear Ash's final statement after being enchanted with Holy Yama 12 hours ago. Huh? Did they even use the spell on her? I'd say, it's a, I'd say it has gotten a bit more long, more than just a bit longer. I guess her hair has gone a bit longer. Yeah. Seems like Asha didn't exactly have long left any- Oh, I've just seen the fucking thumbnails coming up and I've seen something that I like. <laughs> <laughs> Good god. Right. <laughs> uh, fucking hell. I'm such a menace. Right, anyway, let's carry on. Claude, you must have known this already. Clearly, it doesn't take much to spot some of that much time left, but it didn't seem like anyone would believe me if I said anything. Well, do you think that someone with such a short amount of time remaining would go around committing these complicated and bothersome crimes for some kind of personal profit? She's gonna be dead soon anyway. Asherahiro, if you have anything you wish to say, tell us before it's too late. People have chosen to execute you using Horiyama so that they could hear at least they could at least hear you defend yourself. If you're going to keep your mouth shut, even when I've, I'm giving you a chance to make a final statement, I can't give you another chance. He's glancing at Lee's. Promise me, no matter what happens, you'll believe me. Okay, I, I promise, Asha. Um. Could I say it for her instead? Hmm? How'd she get in here? Saw her letter in? Sure. Go ahead, Lee's Heiss. As the person who was closest to Asha recently. Thank you, Saha. Then... I... I am... Someone who Asha vouched for. And I've been in indebted to Asha from when we were in Aterra. Until we came to here to wear a plateau. Finding food and a place to sleep, to the Temple of Earth and the Test of the Sword. Asha has brought me to where I need to be and helped me in many ways. Because Asha gave money to the Temple of Earth, I was able to get the Golden Knight and drew the Sword of Return. So, uh, what I wanted to say is, what Asha wanted to do is probably the same as me. Of course, I can't keep depending on Asha forever. But there's something I really want to do. And Asha said she would teach me how to do it. Asha's the one who told me about the Sword of Return, too. And about practicing Transcendentals and Barvati Kubera. If it were just sympathy, she would have just given up. Given me some money and... No, given up. <laughs> yeah, she probably would have given up. She would have just given me some money and handed me off to another Guardian. But the reason that she went through the trouble of bringing me with her everywhere... And going to the Temple of Earth and the Temple of Chaos together is probably because we have the same objective. So I think that's why she helped me. The objective doesn't really have much to do with how much time we have left, since we know that we won't survive after achieving it. To someone who is trying to achieve something great, even at the cost of their own life, it doesn't matter how much longer they will live afterwards, since their goal since that's their goal. And that's the end. So, what was Asha trying to do by helping you? Well, she wanted to kill the high rank Sura who caused the Red Sky incident. I don't think that's the case. I actually don't think that's Asha's goal. And if... <laughs> if I'm right, and I understand Asha to a point that I think I do, she'll comment on that. Part 2, episode 134, Petals Falling, 8. I rank Sura. Why would she? No way. Can I reveal my name? Do I have to keep it a secret? Even with things that 
the way it is. Uh, I'll help fill in the details. Please, sit down. How are you? The chibis are so cute. The chibis are so cute. Look at me. She's adorable. First of all, I apologize for unintentionally giving an improper defense during the meeting. As you can see, since Asha's keeping her mouth shut, I have no choice but to tell you about Asha's objective based on my own investigation. But hearing what Lee's just said, I think it sounds credible. Since the fall of Kart, it was also caused by high rank Sura. I feel like I said Kart really weirdly there. If, uh, if Asha wanted to get revenge on those, high rank Sura received an oracle about how to achieve that revenge. Of course, she deserves to be censored for sacrificing so many people, but if Asha's revenge really was intended for the high rank Sura, then I feel that we need to delay her execution here since that is something unne something necessary for us all. I agree. With the high ranks who are threatening us, we, can kill a we can't kill a magician like this who has a divine affinity of over 10,000. However, Asha's abilities were fo However, Asha's magic abilities were formed. We need those powers right now. Asha may be a murderer, but she doesn't threaten us all. And at least she didn't kill anyone except Kubera. Z and she still let herself be caught without any resistance so far. Yeah, if she wanted to, she could probably easily get herself out of here. And not have, you know, ended up in this situation if she really wanted to. But she's letting it happen. And why is she letting it happen is the real question. I don't think it's a bad idea to delay her execution for now. If she's not a threat to us as a human, she doesn't have much time left to live anyway. Even if we just tie her to a barrier stone, wouldn't that still be more useful than killing her here? What do you think is the better thing for us to do, for everyone's sake? Phew, her, ex her execution has been postponed for now. Please, seem more troubled than I thought. Terrified of what would happen if she finds out the truth like this. Um, Meha, actually, the truth that you speak of. I already delivered everything to Lee's before you got here yesterday. What? What, what are you talking about? You gave it to Lee's without even getting my permission? I'm sorry. It was just so, it was just so frustrating to sit back and watch. Did you know this? Lee said that she jumped off a cliff countless times in order to learn Bavadi Kubera. Asha drove Lee's into becoming such a wreck and the child didn't even need to be so desperate. I thought that even if it shocked her, Lee needed to know the truth. Shouldn't you have discussed that with me first? Even still, how could you just inform her without saying a word to me? I apologize for that. Actually, I tried to get permission first, but then Saha suddenly showed up yesterday. I thought that I wouldn't have a chance to tell Lee the truth if Saha were to take Lee away and cut off her communication with us. So... I used my own judgment. Uh, uh, uh. Meha? Asha. So Asha has a short lifespan just like me. Did Asha already know about her own lifespan? Probably. How did she feel when she found out? Probably didn't care. Still, I'm relieved. And that, yeah, okay. I didn't comment on the envelope earlier. But to be fair, I, I probably should have. But now, yeah, it, it makes sense what that envelope actually is. I'm still relieved, at least. The execution has been postponed for now. Hmm? I'm allowed to look at this now, right? Here, yeah. don't ever show this to anyone else. Read it over by yourself once this is all finished. I made a copy of what Mirho was looking at, so you can read exactly what she wrote. I put this together for you, so don't think badly about it. What's this? It's... Yeah. The truth that you didn't know. The true story about the people who you wanted to meet the most. Karslen and Haslen. Banned from Lee's heist. Huh? However, as someone who actually who is actually affected by the Red Skies, and Asha's justification is merely an excuse. If Lee's, 
had revealed that she was a survivor of the Red Sky incident of the time. The people around her would have helped and admit and not gone with, and she would not have gone with Asha. Since she was neglected this for almost a month, at a time when she needed psychological treatment and counseling, she had no choice but to depend on the only other the only person who knew about her circumstances. Her abnormal, her abnormal dependence on Asha appears to have begun around this time. Considering she had a lot of free time until the temple opened, and she just spent her time doing nothing, doing, not doing much until the test of the sword, she would have been fine if she had left from a terror later. The reason Asha rushed was to stop Lise from running into her friends from her hometown. Asha attempted to improve Lise's abilities with godly items, but she failed to do something as basic as introducing her to a proper teacher. This is because she would end up likely following the teacher more than Asha. If Lee's had met a proper teacher, she may have grown more attached to her teacher than Asha. Lee's real name is Kubera. She already knows. <sighs> Mirha already knew. Which matching the names of the pos of the people whom Asha has killed, it is possible that Asha may have contemplated or attempted killing Lee's. But judging from the way that Lee's has continued to stay with Asha until now, it appears that Lee's never found out about the attempted murder. There's the scores. Belize is a fighter of the greatest on this planet next to Kasak. To the extent that it's hard to believe she is a, pu a pure blood human, she is far too valuable of a talent for Asha to kill her like she has done to the other Kuberas thus far. Asha may be a m remarkable magician. Oh god, I, I can't read all that, it's cut off too much. Lee should have, won should have wondered at least once why Asha always kept her trapped within the scope of her control. Judging from her answer, when I suggested that they leave, that we leave together, it looks like she never really properly questions questioned the Asha's intentions even once. Please had ignored Asha from the start, revealed where she was from to other people, and asked for help or heard news about her hometown friends. She could have escaped earlier. From someone close enough to her, from someone close enough to kill her at any given moment. To weigh the value of her very existence. Lisa's faith in Asha is far too strong at this point to tell her all of this now. I'll just tell her about her hometown friends after Asha is sentenced to imprisonment and has been separated from her. You have to hide the fact that Asha deceived her. Hold on a fucking second! Is this Hoti Maru? This is. This is from. This here is obviously connected to this. But honestly, there's something about the framing here that almost makes it seem like. Lee's did that. But I'm. All, judging from the fact she's got the sword drawn here, I assume she drew the sword and did that. Because Lee's is Rao's daughter. Until the very end, I would just like to protect that smile of hers. That resembles her father. Unfortunately, this has now done the fucking opposite. Falling petals. End. Next chapter. Your justice. And mine. You know, I think we can, uh... We can do another one. Yeah, we, we, can, we can push a little bit more. We can push a little bit more. We've only been going for 20 minutes and we're already on the third chapter. Oh boy, we can do a whole lot if we really want to. Ah. Luscious water. Although that glass, my glass is now empty. So, oh no. Yep, flashing back to the, um... I saw the shape of her mouth, reciting a spell. But I could only hear her very faintly. So I believed that I was mistaken. That there was no way that she could be... That she couldn't possibly use a spell like that on me in that situation. 
He, uh... Which probably means her um, magical affinity has actually gone up. Yeah, good job, Asha. You, you, you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll stop. Part 2, episode 135. Your justice and mine. 1. Hody Aspens. Wow, I can say your recovery magic is better than mine, for sure. I'm better at lots of- a, a lot of other spells than you. But is these okay? What happened to her? Uh, she said she just swung the sword and returned, but a red light came out and it- out of it and, it, and the railing smashed. She says she doesn't know why, but looks like she accidentally used the transcendental. She seemed really sorry when I said I would handle the repairs for the railings since she did had to rush off somewhere. Hold on, Ryan. Let's just get this straight. I'm the one who did the repair, not you. Ah, oh, these two are great. Sorry, Professor. Is there anything you would like to eat? I run. I have a gold card. Jeez, now you're just talking big. It's good to see those being, you know, getting to spend some time together. It's nice. Sorry, but individual vi visits are not possible right now since she is a magic. Since she is a class A magic offender with, pro with proven charges of murder of magic murder. If you tell me what you wish to communicate to her, I will review it and relay your message to her. Ah, uh, it's all right. There's nothing I can say to anyone else. Well, bye then. Isn't she the girl who stood up for us earlier? Yeah, but she seems completely different from earlier. I wonder what how She's gonna fucking kill her! She's gonna fucking kill her! Who's saying this? That's oh, Meha. Please! So you really did come to see Asha. Could we talk? Mm, just for a minute? Is it true that Kaz is alive? Uh, y yeah. It was, huh? So it really was him that I saw on that day I left the Terra. Then, is it also true that Asha knew about that and kept it from me? Wh well, that is true, Lise. But the blue writing is just my personal opinion. No, you were at the very least right about how I felt. It's true that I ended up, that I ended up depending on Asha because I thought I had nothing left. And it's also true that I would have put my life on the line for revenge if I had met Kaz. I know myself better than anyone. The only thing that you were wrong about is this. The part about me not knowing that Asha tried to kill me. Uh, that's a fucking scary panel. Oh. That's a scary shot. So, oh my god. God. You were wrong about that, Mirha. I remember the moment when Asha was about to kill me. You wouldn't be totally wrong to think that it was all for my sake to keep all of this hidden from me. My smile resembles my, resembles my father's. What meaning does smiling have when it's through a complete deception such as this? At least... First, just listen to what I have to say. Your father was a hero on Cart. I deeply respected him with all my heart, so... The person here right now is Lise Heiss. Not Rao Lise. Not because I look like someone. Or because I have a special name. Can you just look at me for who I am? Am I completely useless? Without those features? Why does everyone... Not everyone. Why? Why won't you come? Why aren't you here now? Don't go. You can't go. Come back. Please. Come back. It's better to have my body ripped apart than to have my heart ripped apart. Uh, please, who are you looking for, hmm? What's gotten into you all of a sudden? Please? Something doesn't feel right. She doesn't seem to be in any particular danger, but... Is something wrong? I'll just go check on her. If it's nothing, I can just leave again. No! No, 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 no
no, you need to go, right? Y you should go. But not like that. Don't go like that. Do not do that. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, no, Yuta. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why did you have to go? I know that it, that's more convenient, but why Why did you have to do it like that? Oh, for fuck's sake, no. Uh, it's, this isn't going to end well. Northern Eloth, the transport ship terminal. Wait, this ship goes between Calibloom and Aeroplato. Why did it come here? There was a problem with the ship on its way from Calibloom to Aeroplato. Lutz said that he would inspect the ship himself, so he told me to change its direction to Eloth. Hmm. He should have said that before they loaded it with packages in Aeroplato. This just gives us more work. Hey, new guys! Take all the packages and sort them out. Uh, okay! Will you be able to carry that? Aren't you going to use Holy Kubera? I can hold this much without magic. Don't push yourself. No one cares how strong you are around here. Shoot. I knew I should have focused on Bavadi Vayu when I was in school. Apparently you get chosen for the transport ship team right away as long as you're able to talk while using that spell. My brother says that spell is all he has and yet he's on the transport ship team now. As long as you don't mind getting motion sickness. He says there's almost nothing hard about the job. Plus, they pay you double. Hey, look at this. What's in here? The prepaid shipping cost is worth an entire month of my salary. What? A month's salary? Let me see. I want to see too. Wow. Sure going far. Terra? He even says it's going from Misty Shore to a Terra by teleportation. That's nuts. But how would... I've just remembered that Asha sent the fucking scarf away, didn't she? Why has she, did she do that? I do not know. I wish to know. What the hell could be in here for someone to blow this much money on it? Hardly weighs anything. Is it expensive clothing or something? Oh... For fuck's sake, Utah! You should have—you should have told them to suddenly. You shouldn't have told them to suddenly turn the transport ship around. Not only do we have complaints from the employees, but we're gonna have to pay some serious compensation for the packages getting to Calibloom late. I had no choice. If I had said that the ship is heading to Elo through an inspection, they might have realized what was going on first. So in order to preserve the evidence, I had no choice but to change the direction while making it look like it was headed for Calibloom. Hmm? Utah. Oh look, who's this? Who's this little little specimen? In the... The, the little uh, thumbnail for the fourth episode, we're gonna be reading this video. Yeah, boys. Yeah. And we're a lot sh quicker than last week's episode. We might be able to go for like five. Damn, I'm look. I'm really fucking. I'm I'm going. I'm gassed right now. I've got like loads of energy to read this. Go on. Tell me exactly where the remaining humans are now. Oh wait, that's Sagara. Fuck. Go on. Tell me exactly where the remaining humans are now. Requires a lot of vigor to find names. You know that I'm not in very good health right now. I know. But still, since this is the final attack, shouldn't we be as thorough as possible? We didn't come this far for nothing. Well, look at her. Well, if it's that hard, just check whether one of them is in Rinhal. Bro, if Kubera got, uh, got an anime, I, I, I literally, like, be, I wouldn't be responsible for what I would do the day Sagara got animated. <laughs> it's not even that far away. Don't tell me you're going to whine about it. About <clears throat> wine about what? Oh, words, it's fucking sentence structure. She was, uh, you're gonna don't tell me you're gonna whine about even that being too hard. All I have to do is tell you that, and you won't call on me anymore until the fight is finished. I won't call on you even if someone tells me to. You have your own job to do. There is definitely one person in Rind Hollow. The location is almost exactly the same as the last time I checked. The person seems to be staying in the in the center of the city. Okay, then we'll attack Rin Hollow as planned. Just wait here, and the moment that human dies, do the thing that you have been you have been preparing for. Sigara. Hmm. What? Look at her. 
bro the the glance back is oh it's so fucking good boys it's so good <sighs> relax self relax it's just a png it's a 2d image calm down <laughs> Don't die. She fucking... She better fucking not die. I mean, I know she doesn't because I know she's in, in, in season three because I, I, I have seen some, like, random panels from season three. I have no context for them, but I've seen some. So I know, I know she isn't dead, but... At least I don't think she is. Unless they were just, like... Fucking... I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> of course I won't. She fucking better not. She fucking better not. Otherwise, that'll be, like... The saddest day ever. Part 2, episode 136, Your Justice and Mine 2. Sorry for causing trouble. I was mistaken because my scarf had fallen into the wrong hands. Tablet writing convert. Tablet converts his writing to voice. It's still in development, so the voice output is female. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. This is quite alright. I can see why you misunderstood the situation. It's more than enough that you've managed to stop when you did. Sorry to interrupt, but do you have to speak with such formality, Lutz? Even your brother isn't this formal with him. Just be casually, guys. I don't care about that kind of thing. Ah, really? Then we can all speak. I will continue to speak formally. As will I. <laughs> Poor assistant whose name I forget. A magician who is able to use deadly spells is actually a very dangerous being. It means that a person with the power to kill dozens or hundreds of people in an instant with a single word is, word is living among, amongst the defenseless people of this complex city. Almost all damages can be reversed using magic, but death is difficult to turn back. Before the, the greater people, there were some magicians who could use Hodi Vishnu, but as is an extremely advanced spell, it came at a high cost. I won't do any- I won't do it for anything less than this. If you don't like it, then find another magician. If you can accept the risk of the name being registered in the underworld while you're looking for another magician, that is. With all kinds of strange tales going around about the principles of that spell, there were some people who refused in advance to let their time be turned back by this- with that spell. <clears throat> Have you heard the rumors? It would probably be better to have our names go to the Do Not Resurrect list. True. The rumors are true. We would better to just die. What are the rumors? I would like to hear these. With or without Hodi Vishnu, death is not a matter to be taken lightly. It's the most important virtue for magicians, since before the great upheaval until now, has always been valuing human lives. Asha is someone who disregarded that basic virtue and committed murder. That's different for humans, since it's natural for us to eat and be eaten. We don't place much value on life. So you don't understand this human concept? No, I understand. There are many times when I'm jealous that they don't have to eat one another. Well, in spite of her committing murder like that, Asha's targets are very clear. And she is not an indiscriminate murderer, so she's not an immediate threat to us. Her beliefs are also far too great for us to get rid of with execution. Maybe not in a peaceful situation, but with a city being threatened like this, she's a talented individual who is very difficult to give up. That is why I figured that no matter how this meeting turned out, they would not be able to actually execute her. And that this is how it actually turned out. Interesting, so the whole time it had been planned to delay, to, yeah, okay. But from Asha's perspective, whether she does get executed or imprisoned, it's clear that she will lose her freedom. Or, I was suspicious of why on earth she herself would go, would choose to go to Ere Plateau. Why did you decide to reveal it now, after hiding it all this time? I thought about it a lot, but this seemed like the better way to go. Are you saying you decided to turn yourself in out of guilt? No. I wouldn't be able to do this kind of thing if I had any sense of guilt left. 
I got rid of that emotion long ago. She said she didn't turn herself in out of a sense of guilt. Which means there's a reason that she can't run away by herself. Or she has another plan. I do not think Asha is evil. But... I also do not think she's holy, a wholly good person either. I'm of this position either. I'm I'm also of this position. I, I agree with Lutz. His um, stance right there. I simply prepared a safety net since there would be there was no telling what a high-ranking magician will do when backed into a corner. As there was no known explosion on the transport ship, we can properly use we can now we can properly use it. Are you asking me to help you check this video? I was originally going to do this with Tilda, but since you're already here, I would, I would appreciate it if you would help me. There are 64 security cameras installed on the transport ship. The tapes are as long as the time travel. I've traveled. At the travel time. Fucking hell, words! So it will take a lot of time to check all of these. Alright, but is there a way to make the videos play any more quickly? Uh, this is to make the overall speed quicker. This is to make it slower. And this one is to pause the video. If you want to control a certain screen, you need to push the screen number at the same time. <clears throat> Look, you're not just watching one screen. You have to watch all 64 of them. C can you check it properly if you watch it that quickly? The person behind that woman, that's Claude, right? He passed by number 3 and 19, so I suggest you take a closer look and check carefully. Claude. That bastard. Wait. He's just crying. So, Claude was the cause of the explosion. Didn't you s So... Claude was the cause of the explosion. Didn't you see him in the transport ship the day before it left? You should have stopped him then. Uh, still, he's a priest, so I figured it would be okay. He made you lots of very strange things, but I did not think he was this insane. Anyway, we found the cause of the explosion thanks to you. Could you check to see if there is or any other... Oh my god, what have you done to the memory? I just brought that here from the transport ship. That was our only piece of evidence. Hold on, Tilda. He looks upset. It looks like you still... You still haven't managed to take off the hide of bondage that you're wearing. Shall I tell you a way to take it off right now? Uh, but I recently tried to rem uh, But I tried to remodel it recently. So I can't remodel it right now. Even with the best materials. No. I'm not saying you should remodel the hide of bondage. I'm saying you should use it as material to remodel this scarf. <gasps> oh, fuck! I figured out how Liz gets the black outfit. That is so fucking morbid. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my. Do you feel better now? Ah, uh, Mirha. Bro, her fucking eyes. Jesus Christ. Sorry, I was so upset earlier. I shouldn't have taken my anger out on you. But I just had to vent my rage since I couldn't meet Asha and ask her about it. I, I don't think you were just going to ask her questions. Sorry, I was so harsh. It's okay. It wasn't harsh. That was barely a grumble, let alone harsh. Please, I think you're like Rao. But I also think you're like me. Me, when I was a child. Acting like I was fine when I was not. Pretending not to be sick even when I was. Always smiling in an effort to keep even one more person by my side. Yo, Miha's fucking beautiful. Holy shit, Miha looks fantastic in that. Jesus Christ. I, I'm sorry. I know it's some of scene, but... I can't... I'm Myron, bro. I'm Myron. It may seem foolish, but right now... I actually missed that time when I was so innocent. 
since I can't return to it. And unfortunately, Lise is going to end up just as twisted as you are. Uh, in fact, she's already twisted at this point. She's she's going to end up like you and Asha, as you feared. Now, no matter how hard I try to smile, I can't smile like it is a child. All that's left is a forced, somewhat pretentious, shadowed smile. People change like that, and they suffer a great betrayal. That's why I wanted you to keep that smile of yours for a bit longer, please. I apologize if you're upset that I hid the truth. I didn't mean anything bad by it. Really. Okay. Ah, right, please. Did I contact Cows for you? If I send the notice to the Aterra Magic Guild Academy. No, don't contact him. Why? They already think I'm dead, and they have already adopted to the, adapted to the new situation by now. I don't really need to go back. Still, don't you want to see, see them? I thought you wouldn't have put your life on the line for revenge if you had known they were alive. That's true. Or rather, it was. But not now, Mirha. Because I don't have much time left to live anyway. If I go back to my friends, I would just make them sad in a few years anyway. It's better this way. Part 2. Episode 137. Your justice and mine. 3. Hold on. Think it over again, Lise. I understand that you want revenge. I felt something similar before, although it wasn't exactly the same. I was a survivor from the collapsed planet cart, and everyone who was close to me died. Asha, who I didn't even have a chance to meet after entering school, was the closest person that I had. Everyone I knew vanished into the thin air. My dad was here in Wilbrave, but since we couldn't move between planets after the Great Upheaval, at the time, I didn't even have a hope of seeing my dad. After losing everything so quickly and falling into the deepest pit, first, all I could think was that I wanted to die. Then later, all I wanted was to kill that bastard who drove me to this situation. I could have done it on my own. I probably would have turned torn him to death a hundred times. Mirha. But least, this is revenge on a high rank Sura. Nothing else. Revenge where we only have a slim chance of succeeding, even if we give our lives up. With a great, uh, with a high chance of dying, a meaningless death. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. It's now nearly, nearly 11 o'clock. This will be the last episode we've read for today, in case you were worried this might go on for fucking, like, eternity. Even if your life span runs out tomorrow and you die, it's more valuable to live even a little bit longer and smile than to throw your life away tomorrow. Today, fucking Jesus. Not tomorrow. Today! <laughs> if you get that, you, you're as depraved as I am. For the sake of those who have passed away before you, and for your own sake. Thank you for saying that. But my responsibility is too great to just back down from it now. Responsibility? Well... The attack on my village is because of me, right? Wait, who said that? That's not true. The Sura who attacked are the bad ones. It wasn't your fault. Even if they attack again in the future, there's no need for you to take responsibility for that. It's not like you chose your name either. Then, is it my dad's fault for naming me this? Mirha, you said you respect my dad, right? So did I, since I was a child. Those feelings didn't change, even until I was in Calablo. Now, I'm not sure. Honestly, right now I feel like I can't go on living if I don't take responsibility for this. I wish, wish I had met Kaz a little bit earlier. Before I came this far. I knew both of you would come looking for me, but I didn't think you would both show up at, show up together this late at night. Send me to Rinhallow. Please, stop her! One at a time, 
I'm not feeling very well right now. I heard that the Surah around Rinhala were getting ready to attack. So, I want to help out their support team there. I have two godly items, and I can use Hodi Kubera and Bavardi Kubera. I won't be a burden. No, she's not ready for that yet. She'll only get in the way if she goes. Well, if that's so, then what about all the fighters who got lower scores than me in the test of the sword? Well, those kinds of battles are mostly for magicians. Passing the test of the sword with top marks means you can't falter as a fighter. Plus, she has two highly valuable godly items. I think she's more than qualified to help. But Saha, she... I know Liz is one of the people with the name Kubera. She has. She was the only person on the transport ship without an ID. Normally, she would. She should be pro <coughs> protected instead of being sent into a danger zone. But unfortunately, Liz is the one with the sort of return right now. In a battle against high rank Sura with ridiculous regeneration powers, there's a huge difference between whether the owner of the sort of return is present or not. Plus, it's not like we can hand Lee's sword over to anyone else. So, it would be good if Lee's helped out even by throwing the sword from a distance and retrieving it. Ah, I could, I could do that. I may not be good with Transcendentals, but I practice that a lot. Good. Please, Heiss. I appreciate you volunteering to offer support in Rindhalo. We're not even top ranking. Rankers want to go. You're exactly the kind of person we need in this age. But there's no need for you to move to Wind Hollow. Since you will end up there just by staying here. What the fuck do you mean by that, Saha? What is going on? We're ready to move the city. Alright. And we'll start moving it now. Our destination is Wind Hollow. After combining the barriers around the two cities in the air above Wind Hollow, we will annihilate the Sura surrounding Wind Hollow. Well, fuck. Oh, you are wearing it himself, but I know he's not going to keep that on. He's not going to keep that on. He ain't keeping that on. He ain't keeping that on. I don't think he will, at least. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Lee's will have a different outfit. But anyway. But then, to be fair, you can modify the properties of a magic item. So, I wonder what properties this new scarf of bondage cloak has. We'll find out. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed another long video. Uh, if these do well, I'll keep doing them. But yeah, anyway, without the way, I've been Animosity, you've been you, and I'll see you next time for another video. A ta ta. For now. Also, if you made it to the end, comment. Uh. 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 uh, uh Sigara.